I've been asked a lot of questions recently about which pen I use to draw or which one I prefer. Well, it really depends on what I'm drawing. For example, if I'm using this ballpoint pen, I'm going to be using that for doing shading. With all of these, I can draw portraits, but they're done differently. With a ballpoint pen, I can get shading and I can show form and depth different than what I can with the rest of these pens. So the ballpoint is really good for shading and it's very cheap. That is the benefit of that pen. The Micron here is a disposable pen. It's a technical pen just like this one I have right here which is a fine liner. But this pen here they come in different sizes you know the 0.1, the 0.5, the 0.005 and the 0.8 and so on. With these they're disposable they cost a lot more in the long run than if you're using a ballpoint. But the benefit of using these over the ballpoint is you don't have to press or anything like that. With the ballpoint you have to apply pressure. One advantage the Micron pen has over the ballpoint is the size of the nib. They come in a more variety of nib sizes from very fine to very large. And with these you get a very consistent line that doesn't change. Whereas with the ballpoint pen the line is going to change a lot. It's going to vary. But it depends on what you're drawing that might benefit you or might not. It just depends on what you're drawing. With this fine liner I have here, it has a tripod grip. What I like about that is it helps me when I'm drawing. I can really hold on to the pen better and I don't really lose grip of it like I do with the other pens. But with the fine liner pen, the benefit of this is that it's cheaper than the ballpoint pens. They do come in different sizes, but I do notice that with the fine liners, I get a little bit more feathering on paper than I do with the Microns or any other pen that I have because it's, it's kind of like a marker in a way. It's like a fine tip marker. So when you're drawing with it, the lines aren't going to be quite as thin as what you're going to get with a Micron just due to the slight feathering that you get with this pen. The gel pen here, the benefit of this one is that it is cheaper than Microns, but the one downside is that when you're drawing with these, it takes a lot longer for the ink to dry. So you're gonna get a lot of smearing. Like I said, they're a lot cheaper and they have their own benefits over other pens. What I do like about these is you get a very smooth writing experience. Whereas with the Microns and the fine liner, it's a very dry feeling. And with this, it's a lot smoother. It's kind of like drawing with a fountain pen. And I have here the Rotring Isographs. What I love about these is that you get a very perfect line. The line always depends on the steadiness of your hand and how you're able to draw. Technique is very important with these. The benefit of these is that they're refillable. You don't have to worry about buying a whole new pen and wasting some of the ink in case it's dried up like you would with the Microns the gel pen, the fine liners, or the ballpoint. Although the benefit of the ballpoint would be, well, they take a very long time to use up. And with the Roaching Isograph, you have a lot of ink. They can be refillable. With the Rapidographs, they're not refillable. They come with cartridges. As you can see here, this ink reservoir holds a decent amount of ink. You can get different colors, and the ink is very dark. It goes down great and they are a bit of maintenance compared to the other pens and you have to be very delicate with them compared to your gel pens, fine liners, and ball points. And they're a lot more expensive ranging between $25 to $50 depending on the nib size you get. And these do come in a set of three to four or more. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can find these. And now we have the fountain pen. This is the Lamy Safari. Extra fine tip. The benefit of the fountain pen over the isograph would be that they're more durable. They can withstand more pressure and they can take a bit more of a beating than the other pens. They can also hold a lot more ink than a rotating isograph. Although this pen doesn't hold as much ink as my Noodles Ahab, it still holds a lot and a lot more than what you're going to get with a gel pen or a fine liner or a micron. Other types of pens of different brands will have different size of nibs and different size of ink reservoirs. And with a larger ink reservoir, you can get a lot more ink 
and you can draw for a longer time. This might benefit you for going on vacation somewhere and you're going to be gone for a long time and you don't have access to any other pens and let's say you've only brought one with you, you don't have to worry about running out of ink because it'll last you quite a while. Another benefit of this is that the nibs are not as expensive as what you'll find in a lot of the other roaching isographs, but that also does depend on the brand you have and the type of fountain pen. Some fountain pens that have a gold nib are going to be very expensive. So what's my favorite pen to draw with? Well, that really depends. But for me, I would say overall, if I really had to choose out of all of these pens, and I was only given one pen to draw with, and I had no other option, which one would I pick? If I weigh the benefits and the disadvantages of the pens, the first one I would probably eliminate if I had to choose would be the gel pen. That comes in last place for me. Least favorite, if I had to choose out of all of these, would probably be the fine liner. My least favorite would be the gel pen out of these, mainly because of the smearing. And then my second least favorite would be the fine liner. Not really any particular reason, but the main reason being that I would prefer the ballpoint over it is because I can do shading and get form and a depth of the drawings that I cannot get with a, a fine liner or a gel pen. My third favorite would be the Micron. And that being because I can get a fine point and a line that's always perfectly straight. It's, it's, I don't have any issues with feathering as much as I will with the fine liner. And I don't have to press as hard as I do with the bond point. As a matter of fact, I don't have to press at all. The three pins that you don't have to press out of these is the Micron, the fine liner, and the gel pen. Actually, the only pin out of all of these that you have to press at all is the ballpoint. And then it comes down to the fountain pen and the roaching isograph. Now, if I really had to choose, it would be really tough to pick between these two pens because each of them has their benefits and their disadvantages. The roaching isograph, the benefits of these I can get finer lines, I can draw more detailed, but with the fountain pen, they're more durable and I don't have to worry about the tip of the pen breaking as easily. I also don't have to worry about holding the pen very vertical like I do with these. When I'm drawing with these, you're supposed to hold them vertically for the ink flow. If you hold them to the side, the pressure of you drawing might damage the nib. So if I had to choose, I think it would be a tie because each of them have their own benefits and disadvantages. So it just really depends on what I'm drawing. Although the maintenance with a roaching isograph is much greater I find than with a fountain pen, the fact that I can get such smooth, perfectly crisp lines outweighs the disadvantages. And with the fountain pen, even though I can't get as fine of lines and they don't come in as many sizes. The advantage I have is that they're a lot more durable. I find that they give a much smoother writing experience. And you don't have to be worried all the time about whether or not you're going to damage the nib. So that is one advantage I would say about the fountain pen over the roaching isograph. But at the end of the day, both of these pens have their benefits and weaknesses. So tell me which pen do you prefer? The fountain pen? The isograph? The micron? The ballpoint pen, the fine liner, or the gel pen. Tell me what you think, which ones you like more, what you like about each pen, and the things you don't like. Let me know in the comments of this video. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to making more content. Please subscribe, and have a great day.